fixed me going down the ramp of a place that I've never launched from before. This is a rough canyon on Amistad Lake. We're launching up here because the water's really, really low. And this is, I think, the only ramp actually open right now, even on the lake, to launch bass boats. It's a pretty long ramp here. A lot like the Diablo East ramp, but like I said, that one's not open right now. I think this is the only one even open right now. We've got a tournament here this weekend with our bass club, Elite Bass Club. It's Thursday today. Out here this evening. Just got here in the town about five o'clock. So we're gonna be practicing here Thursday and then tomorrow we'll have a full day of practice to try to get on them. Like I said, the lake is way, way down. So it's pretty much a brand new lake to me. Never fished at this low, so should be interesting be fishing by myself too my nephew was supposed to be with me but he had to cancel on me again so I'll be by myself again for this tournament boat too no i don't think so it'd be crazy go up go up in the rough canyon arm and throw a blue fox man. Oh, oh. oh wow that was great that was a good one that was a good one you see him porpoise i did i saw the whole fish I was yeah like right at your bait wow i thought i had saw seen a little boil behind it too right before that like one of them perch again I was just about to say another one just boiled on my bait and then poof, came out of nowhere. That was crazy. That was a decent fish too. That was at least a two pounder. Yeah. Wow. That was a crazy bite. Oh. oh. Small mouth, I think. Yeah. No. Came out of that tree. Gosh, is something starting to work? Yeah. Starting to get some... Huh? Atten starting to get some attention anyway. Dude, if I could get that many bites tomorrow, <laughs> all right. I would just throw the Whopper Plopper all day. Yeah, they gotta be good ones though. Well, that, that last one was a good one and that one looked like fun, so... I mean, <laughs> <it's good. laughs> That's a good one. Came out of that tree right there. Yeah shot out of it i saw him shoot from the side he didn't make that big of a, a surface deal though no no nah, nah. oh look i just saw bait oh, what you got? yeah i just saw bait spray away from my uh, whopper flopper too real tiny stuff too is that a bait fish from feeding right on activity right in front of you where that white thing oh maybe sure looks like it don't it a couple of them uh -huh. a couple of fish a couple of minnows Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh, it is. One just went down. I hit him with my line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. More of them spraying away. Oop, oh. and another fish. <laughs> yeah, I think I just had one. Not a good one, but... Keeper. Keeper. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just a keeper, though. Still not the kind of looking for, but hey, that's a lot of bites real quick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. Oh. Uh, no, he just looked funny, but. Oh, no, he's just fun. <laughs> just a lot of fun. Wow, dude. That was cool. <laughs> he would hit you right at the trolling motor. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> Wowza. It's a lot of fun, though. Holy cow. That should be legal, dude. That one back there, that, that porpoise was better fish. Oh yeah, for sure. And he came all the way out, like like uh, one of those bobby fins that you bend backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's the table goes. Mm -hmm. Loaded for action. Loaded. Yeah, I just want to fish this one last one here, and then we'll. So 
since it last run out there. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just, uh, I'm just. Oh, oh, is that a better one? It looked like it. I don't know. No, not really. No, not really. Just a decent one, but golly, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Through the turn. Just a, just a keeper again, but. Don't let it get, don't let it get you. Thank you, little buddy. That was freaking awesome. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Crushing it, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. But see, I mean, if I could freaking whack a three or four pounder on this, mm -hmm. what would you do then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not just eight, but you know, it'd have to be more than one, right? Yeah, it'd have to be multiple. I don't know, but me. let's just say in the whole day, you caught like 30, 40 fish. And oh, and you three. caught three or four good ones? And I caught oh, that's a better one. <laughs> Still not a good one, but a little better. Oh, oh no, it's not anyway. Just had a, just had his mouth open. Whoop. Was a keeper though. But no, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, during the tournament, yeah. like if you showed me during practice that, that you could catch three or four, but they were three or four pounders, yeah. no, I'd have to do that instead. But until you show me that, <laughs> I'm going to keep trying to get one of them three or four pounders on this. I know. Because I don't think that's unlikely at all. Huh? I don't think it's unlikely at all. No, what if you caught one three or four pounder on that in 30? And I caught. Yeah, I don't know. It'd now be, you're starting to mix it up. Right? Yeah, it'd be hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'd really wish I had two people in the boat. That's what I'd do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we got to go try to get some bigger ones. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. One cast with a water plopper and there it goes. <laughs> uh, I think they want to eat a popper. I think they do. I don't think they're scared of it at all. Oh. Wait, what? Fish just busted right here in front of me. Look. It sure is, though. Mm-hmm. But like you said, it's the it's the whole idea that you know whether fish is looking at your bait or not. But, Fish? Mm-hmm. Good one. I don't know. Decent. Decent, yeah. He barely even that was weird. He barely even slurped it. You like those? Then I'll come back and get it. Yeah. A little skinny, but well, that was cool. Oh, there was another one right there. Did he whack it? <laughs> yeah. That was a weird. Unless there's something out here, that was a fish too. Okay, that was a fish too. There's nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing out here, dude. That was definitely a fish. Yeah, it just kind of won't won't like it into a tree limb. That's why I wasn't certain, but yeah. there ain't nothing there. Oh, another one. Golly, dude. Yeah. They are wanting a whopper plopper. Big time. He's cheating. He was that? melting? Yes. Wow. What? Do you know what this looks like in here? Is it deep right now? Uh, I mean, fairly deep, yeah. Yeah, I think so, right? For how the bank looks, anyway. It's not, it's not flat like that. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Right at the boat. Dark, dark smallmouth, huh? Uber black smallmouth. I thought it was a catfish. I did too. 
<laughs> Dude. Wow. And they're slimy. Uh-huh. Slippery. <laughs> Dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder if it might be the little bubbles or the, the spray that it shoots out to one side that gives it a bigger profile or something. Or a bait fish, but not like a profile of... Oh, he came from the bank too. I don't know what exactly it is, but uh, <laughs> they love it. I'll tell you that. Cool. Ooh, that's, that's a better one. Oh wow! Look at this <laughs> sick sucker. Did you see? Jeez. Kicking your butt. No, yeah, but it, it's a decent fish. Yeah, but he's fighting like a five pounder. It's only, it's like a three, right? I don't know if he's a three. Or, oh, he's in the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a three. He's just two and a half. Yeah. Gee whiz. Let's get the net on him just so I can get him. Oh, you'll get him. He's hooked. Two hooks now. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a weird land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, get down there. This is how the gloves have to do it. Yes, sir. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, let's see your. Uh... Oh, the catch commander? Yeah. About Dude, two that, and a half. That was crazy. Yep. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was crazy. Now. If they were all gonna do that and be at least that good, yeah. not even a question. <laughs> then I would take 12 and a half, 13 pounds and sit at the dock. But I wouldn't sit because I wanna do that. Right. right. 243. Nice fish. Yes, sir. Nice bite, nice fish. Mm hmm. Bam. All righty. Friday morning here, it's 6.43 a.m. Tournament hour is going to be 6.30, so tomorrow we can actually fish 13 minutes earlier than right now. So as you can tell, it's going to be dark for a little while here. As you saw yesterday evening, we got on a pretty good topwater bite. Caught a whole bunch of fish in just a couple of hours. We haven't really found the size we're looking for yet. I think I'm going to need some bigger fish than that to win the tournament, but that's going to be focusing on today, just trying to find areas with bigger fish probably kind of refine that topwater bite a little bit more. I'm gonna be throwing some different baits too to see if they want to eat those. Probably some swim baits, glide baits, some bigger fish stuff. Like I said, just trying to get some bigger ones because they'll definitely eat that topwater. I don't think it'll be a problem at all getting a limit on topwater. So just gotta figure out how to try to catch those bigger fish now today. I've already launched my boat obviously and I'll be fishing by myself today and for the tournament, but just sitting here waiting for my uncle and my dad to launch to make sure they're all squared away before I leave here. Oh, just a little guy, but man, he destroyed it. Man, for the size of that fish, he sure came up and whacked that whopper plopper. But that's the problem that we've run into so far with this bait is I haven't found any big ones yet, but I have a feeling if you get in the right areas, you're gonna get bit just fine on this by some bigger fish. God, tons of shad right there. Just made a whole big ball of them boil up right there when my bait came through. Well, a spinner bait, but not really much better. I think that's a keeper, though. Pretty darn sure. Golly, fish was never coming off of there. Just gonna check him and see if he's a keeper at least. See if I finally caught me a 14 inch fish. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper, but not what we're looking for, like I said. Oh, it's a 
better one, I think. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit better fish, I think. Not a real tiny guy, at least. Slightly better fish. Still not the kind we're looking for, but it's a decent keeper there. Don't have to measure that one. That's for sure a keeper, but man. Still looking for a better class of fish than that. Oh, golly. That one crushed it. Jeez. Oh, came off and then stuck himself in the back when he jumped right there. I saw it. He was hooked in the mouth. That's why he's fighting so hard now. He was hooked in the mouth. Then he came unhooked, hooked himself in the back, and now he won't stop jumping. Stop it, dude. And that is another keeper, but another healthy one. Be a lot better if he was just a little bit longer. Another keeper, but I don't think just keepers are going to do it for this tournament. Golly, I don't know, but there's another fish. They are definitely eating this whopper blopper. I have a feeling this is what I'm going to do maybe during the entire tournament. I don't know. Like I said, I do need to find some bigger fish, but man, this is so much fun. I just don't want to stop doing it, to be honest. Oh, 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 oh. But I don't want to get hooked in the hand like I almost did there. There we go. Jeez, that one had a deep sound to it, but he's not that good. Check him, see if he's a keeper real quick. I think he's gonna be a little short though. Stop it, buddy. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, no. Okay, well, there, that is a keeper. Again, not the kind we're looking for, but it's four keepers, I think, right there. Oh, wow. That one flushed it. Jeez. Not even a good fish. I thought for sure that was finally a good one, but I don't even think it's a keeper. My goodness. Hopefully I get some bigger bites and hook them just like this tomorrow during the tournament because golly, these suckers are almost impossible to get unhooked today. Come on. All right, let's see if we got us another keeper or not. Close your mouth, buddy. Nope, not even a keeper. A little over 13 and a half. Solid little sucker. He's fat, but doesn't even keep yeah. this is definitely some different looking water right here kind of back in a little creek here or as much of a creek as there is in this lake right now there's a little creek channel that runs back in this deal here so I'm gonna fish this real quick see if I can get some of the company that's whopper plopper <laughs> well, tiny little smallmouth to start it off. Not a good sign. <laughs> very, very small smallmouth. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a better one. Gee whiz. 
again absolutely crushed it too it's a little skinny golly if he was fat that's more like what we're looking for but hmm a little bit skinny of a fish for some reason i don't know why he's got lots and lots of bait back here Look at the head on that thing though long fish just real thin golly not a good tournament fish to have there i'd like to have some more meat on him than that but man that was an awesome bite though only got a couple bites in here but that's one good one at least a decent one don't know if I'd call that a good one, but better than what we have been catching at least. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, and then another one hit it right there where I pulled my bait to. Uh, I don't even know if I want to cast back over there. Oh, wow, fish hit as soon as it hit the water. I think the second one's a little one but whew, that first one looked good i'm not even gonna cast there actually might come back and try to get that fish for the tournament because that looked like a definitely a good one there i saw the fish he was at least real long i don't know if he was skinny like that other one but at the very least a decent fish it might have been a might have been a good good one actually That one there crushed it. Oh yeah, another fish with him too. Yeah, there's a couple of fish down there with him it looked like actually. Alrighty. A little bit better fish out here on the main lake now. So it's a little bit confusing here. And so what kind of water you should be looking for, but I can tell you this, tomorrow I'm gonna to be covering a ton of water with this whopper plopper. That's a decent one there. Thick, thick fish. Still not the kind we're looking for. It's not the size I want when I come to Medina. It's an Amistad, but uh, I don't know if that's the class of fish you need to win this tournament or if you gotta get bigger ones, I don't know. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be covering a bunch of water tomorrow at least with this whopper plopper it looks like because i've tried some other stuff here and just have not got bit i've cranked tried a little bit of offshore stuff even Did some graphing around and whatnot and i just have not caught them really any other way except from the top water or not really just not at all i haven't even got a bite on anything except for top water since this morning on that spinner bait but even that was just one fish the most consistent bite for sure is on the top water it's just i don't know if it's big enough fish to compete in the tournament or not i guess i'm just gonna have to see after day one where i stand all right i'm pretty sure i can go down the rest of this bank and catch some more fish but i'm gonna move on to a different part of the lake now try a little bit different kind of fishing again like i said i've pretty much decided i'm gonna be doing that whopper plopper all day tomorrow unless i get a good sign here before I go in so I'm gonna try some different stuff and then if I never find anything that's more exciting I'm just gonna throw that whopper plopper all day tomorrow wow I thought I missed that fish <laughs> oh wow Kept jumping and finally came off. That was a decent one too. Actually one of the better fish I've caught today. I'd say that was at least a two pounder, maybe a little bit more. I didn't think he was that good at all when I first set the hook on him either. He felt like a small fish. Again, just one of these little dirt pockets though. It's right next to some deep water though. It's not just way, way back in stuff where it's flat for a while. It does have to be Pretty steep, pretty close by, I think, is what it seems like. Oh, 
Oh. That was a bite, dang it. On the little glide bait. This is a better one, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. He hit it so light. I thought it was a little guy, a little teeny guy, but it's a keeper at least. Sheesh. Hard fighting son of a gun. Another really thick one. Just need them to be a little bit longer so they weigh a little more. That one right there is not bad though. He's real thick, golly. Healthy, healthy fish right there. It's a decent keeper at least. Like I said, when he hit, he barely even slurped it. So I didn't think he was that good, but that was my better fish of the day actually right there. Well, I just caught another decent one right there. I wasn't recording because my camera was getting hot. So I had it off for a little while. Should have showed you the fish before I let him go, but I actually kind of forgot. So anyway, just caught a couple of fish here in this little cove, this little inlet, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, one of them was actually a pretty decent one, one of the better ones that I've caught today. So this is a spot I'll probably be hitting tomorrow or the next day. Another good one, I think. Oh yeah. Oh no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was my best one of the day by far right there. That was that was about a four pounder, I think. At least three. I think it was more like a four pounder though. Golly. That was a good one there. You know what? I'm actually just gonna get out of this area then. Definitely gonna be fishing this tournament day, so might as well leave it alone now. Golly, that was a good one right there, though. I wish I would have landed him so you could see him on camera a little better, but it's all right, I guess not on tournament day. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, golly, two big followers right there on the swim bait, the little shine glide, wow, been throwing that bigger glide bait a lot without any action at all, barely throwing this one a little bit, and that was two big followers right there, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and Marked that on my map actually. So I remember right where that happened. That was two big, big fish right there. I actually only saw one of them at first, and then as I was watching him go back down, I saw there was another one next to him. They're both about the same size. They were both at least five pounders. I think they were even bigger than that though. They looked like they're six, seven pounds. Oh my gosh, wow. I don't know how good this fish is, but he came from the bank. He was ultra, ultra shallow. I cast it barely off the bank. Oh yeah, another good one, golly. Okay, I need to get out of this area for sure. I did not realize this fish was that big when he ate. That's crazy. This is another good one. Three, four pounder. Gosh. Hard fighting son of a gun too. Golly. Oh yeah. Got him by just the back hook, but I'll try to flip him here. There we go. All right. That's the best one we landed today. Like I said, I think that other one was a little bit bigger, but that's a nice one there. 
definitely wouldn't complain about a limit of those. Plus one of them big ones, we'd be in real good shape. Anyway, golly, that's a solid fish there. I'm definitely gonna just get out of this area then because this is not very far from where I just had those other fish. So I'm gonna mark this and again, get out of here so I don't beat up on these fish right now. Well, pulling up to the dock here at the end of the day, the end of the practice day that is, had a decent day, not a great day for Amistad, but had a decent little bag landed there. Could have had a real nice bag if I'd have landed all the fish that bit me and caught one of those big giant followers, but definitely got something to go off of for tomorrow anyway. Well, it's tournament morning here. Wasn't recording for the first little bit because it was still dark outside. It's just barely light enough to see now on the GoPro, but caught a couple of big stripers actually right here on this wall. During practice, I went and marked a bunch of fish and a couple of humps off the end of this thing. Decided to fish it this morning and I caught a couple of big old stripers that were fun, but obviously don't do anything for the tournament. So I'm going to start moving on from this now and go down this bank a little bit and then I'm going to run to my first spot that I actually have to run to. This is right by the ramp actually. So I just put down the trolling motor and went over. But now I'm going to actually run somewhere in just a minute here. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, wow. Not as good as I thought, but keeper for sure. Wow, that fish smashed it. Hopefully we're going to be doing some culling today. So, got a new culling system here I'm going to be doing today. There we go. That one's locked in at 148 at least. But it's actually fish number two. So I got to remember that. Alrighty. Number two is on green. Pound and a half or not the kind we're looking for, but it'll get us started at least. Man, that fish sure crushed it. I thought it was about a two and a half, three pounder when he ate. Oh, that one I think is a good one there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. This is one we need here. Come on, buddy, don't come off of there. Yep, boat flip him, there we go. Not quite as good as I thought, but that's a good one there. Oop, oop, just shook off in the boat too. Calm down there, buddy. Alrighty, let's get a weight on this one. 205. You know what, I'm not gonna waste my time doing all this because that coal's not gonna be right anyway, so I just gotta remember the colors. Green is a pound and a halfer, orange is a two pounder. Put him in there since he's a little bit better. Alrighty, turn back around here so I can fish the rest of this bank. Golly, that one there absolutely smashed it both of those keepers did actually they are hitting above their weight class right now oh come on <sighs> don't think it was a good one but man i'm sure missing a lot of fish lately missed four or five bites in a row now Hopefully they were just little guys, had small mouths, and that's why they couldn't get stuck. Oh! Oh my gosh. Come on. That was almost certainly a good one there. Ah, I saw at least part of his body, and it didn't look real small. And we ate it too. God. Hey, come on fish. What are they doing today? I'm missing so many. It's just tournament day, I guess. That's just, just 
how it goes sometimes. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Ay, ay, ay! Just lobbed a cast out here by this little rock deal. Made a couple cranks with this little glide bait and one crushed it. Oh man! Had him hooked up for a second too, I don't know. I don't know why he came off. Ah, that was probably at least a decent one felt pretty good and it's on a glide bait so man that's that's not good right there oh there's one flipped away small mouth huh. that actually might be a keeper too Looks like he's 14 inches at least. Try not to hook myself here. Oh yeah, it's a keeper. Alrighty. Well, just a little guy, so I'll throw him in here with this one. No, oh, no, actually, the wrong side. Throw him in here with that one. Well, that was pretty crazy, I actually looked away there. I don't even remember what I was looking at, but... <laughs> Looked away and that smallmouth came up and smashed it. Doesn't weigh very much though. That's definitely not one that we want in our bag at the end of the day. Wow. Oh yeah, better fish than I thought actually. Thought it was a little guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Came off on the boat flip. Into the boat. <laughs> Not out of the boat, just barely. All right. Well, another decent one at least. Put a call strap on him. I don't know why I didn't put a call strap on that small mouth actually. That's what I need to do. He should be the first one to go. Alrighty. Get a coal strap put on him like I should have in the first place. Then we'll get back up here fishing again. That one surprised me there. See, it's weird. Sometimes them little guys will smash it and then sometimes the better fish just barely even slurp it. I didn't think that was a good one at all. Well, there's number four. We still don't have any really that are worth a whole bunch, but We've got two okay ones that can stay in the bag, but those other two need to go. We need to have another good fifth fish to really be competitive, I think. Oh, golly. Oh no, that was a good one there, dang it. I saw the whole fish. Ah, now I'm hung up in the grass. Gosh. Wow. Maybe these little pockets with this grass balled up in it is better than I thought. Caught a couple of decent ones in it yesterday. Man, and that was a good one there. Golly. I should probably have a backup bait. I've got this really realistic jerk bait, soft jerk bait that I want to tie on actually. I'm going to do that before I leave this relatively calm pocket, actually, real quick. Yeah, I think it's a little guy. I don't know. Maybe running at me. Yep, small mouth. Don't think it's even a keeper, though. Let's see. He might barely be a keeper. It's definitely not the kind we want, but he might be a keeper actually. Oh yeah. It's a little better keeper than that other one actually. Those are my two better ones on that side anyway. Now 
I got two small mouth over there. One of them is going for sure. If I can get a cold fish, golly, I need to get some better quality in the boat though. This is fun, but it's not what's going to win the tournament, I don't think. Oh, wow. That one crushed it. I think this is a coal too. Oh yeah, it's definitely a keeper, so should call one of those little small mouths. 152, so it's barely a little bit better than that other one that I weighed. 1.15, that's pitiful. And 1.10, all right, even more pitiful. All righty. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ah. I don't think that was the same fish that second time. I don't know. I guess it could have been, but it looked like a small mouth. Not a very big one. Maybe a little bit of an upgrade, but wow. I thought that was a big fish that first time. Yeah, that was a that was that little small mouth again. It wasn't it wasn't even a decent one. If that was the same smallmouth too, I don't know. Could be a good group of fish right here. Man, I don't think that was a smallmouth the first time. I'm gonna mark this and fish that again actually here just a little bit because gosh, I think that was a nice large mouth that blew me up the first time. That was, oh, I know I've said that a few times and they've been smaller fish, but that one was deep, moved a lot of water. And I had him stuck for just a second too, golly. It's another reason I don't think it was that same smallmouth that was coming after it. Cause I don't think he would've ate again if he was stuck, but I don't know. Man, that was a crazy blow up for sure that first time, whatever it was. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I think that was another smallmouth. I don't think he was that good, but. Wow. Oh, yep. Here he is. <laughs> that was crazy. I had already cast it over near that corner too earlier, but I tried to get it right up in there that time. And he was actually sitting the opposite side of the grass and shot over to eat it. That was wild. Oh, there we go. Wow, that fish destroyed it. I thought it was a big one, big one, but it's a pretty decent one. I'm gonna flip him up. Don't wanna try to net him. There we go. All righty. Getting all hung up in my other baits down here now. Stop it, stop it, stop it, dude. All righty. Well, there's a little bit better one gets rid of this little smallmouth at least see you later little buddy a little bit better one oh 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 golly I just circled back around to the same place where I just caught that one. And that looked like a decent smallmouth. Gosh. Might have cold actually. I think it was a smallmouth anyway. It was really, really dark. And he shot up twice, but didn't eat it. Oh, there's one. Wow. Yep, and there's another fish over there too. Wow, there's a pile of fish here in this corner. There was another fish with this one. Come on, keep your head down, keep your head down. All right, well now I gotta see if that one calls. I think he does by just a little bit, actually. Nope, 143. That one I got in there is a 146, so 
he does not call. Oh my gosh. Wow. That one destroyed it. And he's got a sideways in his mouth, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip him. Wow. Holy cow. And that's why I just gotta keep throwing this top water, because <laughs> bites like that. That is just oh my gosh, that's fun. Don't think it's gonna cull though. He's skinny, dang it. Jeez, if he was fat, he'd cull for sure, but he's long and skinny. I think he's gonna come up a little bit short. Nope, 141. Golly, man. If he was fat, he'd have cold for sure, for sure. Dang it. Wow, little guy, but he sure smashed it. When I say little, I don't know. <laughs> He's not that little. Wow. He'll be close to calling, but I think he's going to be a little short. I don't know. It's not, it's not holding exactly right right now, I think. It's real close to the fish. Let me see. One of these looked like it was maybe dying actually earlier, so I think this one on the green, yeah. This one's kind of dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of him. Put that one in there. All right, well, it's one o'clock. Don't have a very good limit at all, but I do have a limit. Not sure how it's gonna do for the tournament, but it's been fun catching them anyway. Got about two more hours to fish here. Or not about, I got exactly two more hours to fish. Hour and a half to, ooh. Golly. Fish biting right there. Anyway, not an hour and a half, two and a half hours. Till I have to be checked in. Two hours to the last cast, but I'm probably not gonna fish all the way up till three just cause there's only one boat ram open and it's only one lane, so could get stuck on the ramp if there's a bunch of yahoos or whatever. So I'm gonna try to actually be at the ramp by three o'clock. So realistically, I've only got about an hour and 40 minutes to fish or so. And I've got to do some culling quick because I don't think this limit here is gonna cut it at all. Oh, do I have it? Oh my God, I got him. No, dang it. Ah, please stay on there. Wow. Ah, he came off. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Ah, thought I missed him because I didn't feel any pressure. He ran straight at me down the bank. Golly, I think that was a little cull too. Not a big cull, but pretty sure it was a cull. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Came all the way back here for that one bite. And that's how I screwed it up, really. That stinks. Gone a while without a bite here and come all the way back in his pocket and there he was. Ah, he crushed it as soon as it hit the water. He was on the bank. Wow, oh, just a little guy, I saw him. Oh, oh, come on, dang it. Ah, that one looked a little better. It wasn't teeny tiny at least. Golly, hit it twice too. Popped the bait straight up in the air both times. Oop. I don't know if that was the same fish or not. It didn't seem so big that time, whatever it was. Golly, man. Starting to get bit here again, but run out of time. 232 got about 10 more minutes i want to fish down here before i head back towards the way in
Do you have a big bit there? No, sir. All little swimmers. I don't know if that wild bear, I don't know if that wild bear is working or not, but that is one that's not too little of a swimmer. Skinny sucker. That one was fatty, it been real good. I've been, I've been driven right down. You got more than nine pounds. No, you got more than nine. Yeah, I knew you had more than nine. Yeah. Yep, 942. What was it? 5 for what? 942. Well, it's day two of the tournament. It's 620 in the morning. It's still dark, obviously, but I'm idling over to my first spot because we can make our first cast at 630. I'm actually heading over to a place where I caught a couple of really nice striper yesterday morning because I'm pretty much out of the tournament now. The leaders have almost 20 pounds and I've only got nine and a half, so pretty much out of it for the win so I'm just gonna focus on having fun today so like I said my first spot here is actually just gonna be trying to catch a couple of big stripers like I did yesterday morning before you could even see with the GoPro and then when it gets light enough I'll turn the GoPro on and get to catching some largemouth but like I said the focus today is just gonna be having fun catching a bunch of topwater fish I'm not really gonna focus on trying to win the tournament and make myself angry or anything I'm just gonna go out there and have fun today catching a bunch of topwater fish. All right, well, I know you still can't see very well, but turn on the GoPro here while it's still low light. Caught three stripers again this morning, so I'm gonna turn on the GoPro and try to get one on camera. Oh, yep, there's one right there. <laughs> they are absolutely, golly, absolutely crushing. This 6XD crankbait. It's the fourth one I've got now. Not quite as big as the ones I was catching yesterday, but still some nice stripers. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a better one there. That's a long, long sucker. That's the best one I've caught this morning. God. Like I said, I'm in a bass tournament, but I can, I cannot resist this fun right now. Now that I'm out of the tournament, gosh, these stripers are absolutely crushing this crankbait. Let's see if I can get a couple more before I get out of here. I'm going to stay till they stop biting though. Like I said, today's all about just having fun. So I'm not even going to worry about the tournament itself at all, honestly. But I mean, it's not a impossibility to catch a big old bass right here too. Schooled up with all these stripers. I mean, there's a reason they're here. There's lots of bait here tons of bait i can see on my graph so oh golly another one mm. wow this might be a big big one this sucker's fighting hard oh my gosh wow god these suckers can pull i'll tell you what oh my goodness gracious <laughs> Keeps trying to rip the rod out of my hand. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this one's hooked in the top of the head or what. Jeez. Oh yeah, that's what the problem is. Hooked in the top of the head. I'm gonna try to flip them up here. Oh. Wow. Wow. Striper in the top of the head. That's a hard fight. Oh, cool. There's another one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it came off. <laughs> Jeez, that one. That one was fighting real hard too. I wonder if I hooked him in the top of the head again. Only had him for just a second, but a couple of pulses he gave me were real hard. Oh, yep, another one. Holy, oh my gosh, dude. This is just too fun. <laughs> I'm getting the trolling motor. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop your thrashing around. Somebody who hadn't caught fish before, if you brought them out here, this would be a heck of a time. Shoot, I'm having a heck of a time, like I said. I'm totally forgetting about a 
bass tournament right now just to do this. Golly, and this one's stuck hard. There we go. Another nice one. Ooh, oh, golly. That was a bite. Right of there, ricocheted off that deal. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, there was another one. Wow. <laughs> Right as I popped off that high spot there, one ate it and then another one ate it by the boat. They're just everywhere down here. Oh, dang it. I actually hung up in it this time. It's the first time I've done that. Dang it, probably gonna break off. Not sure what it was. I'm not even sure what it is, but stuck hard whatever it is dang it oh yeah oh nope, got it loose is there a fish on there wow what the, what the heck okay well i don't know what happened there i don't know if there was a fish on there the whole time and he was stuck in a rock or if he ate it when i pulled it off but that was cool either way Holy, that sucker. That's a nice one there. Come on, dude. Just come off there. There we go. All right. Jeez. That's a long one there. There's another one. Come on. I love the way these things fight. This is this is awesome. Golly. Calm down there, bud. Jeez. Gosh. There's some hard fighting son of a guns, I'll tell you what. Another nice striper. They are absolutely loaded over here. I wonder how many fish are actually down there. It's insane. Yep, <laughs> there's another one. Golly. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I don't know when I'm going to leave this spot because this is just so much fun. <laughs> as long as they keep biting, I'm going to stay here. This is not that good of a one, but he sure slammed it. Caught him in both of his eyeballs a little bit. Skin hook that one. Skin hook that one too. Wow. Hope you can still see, buddy. There's another one. Golly. Oh my gosh. Wow. Little guy, but. He sure slammed it. <laughs> I don't even think that's a striper. I think that's a white bass. White bass eating a big old 6XD. It's crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Literally almost ripped the rod out of my hand. I was just about to pull it up to the boat. I was not expecting a bite right there. Golly. Jeez. Another hard fighting son of a gun. My God, dude. These things are crazy. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on. Come on up in here. Oh, oh, still not done. Jeez. Oh god, that one was heavier than I thought. <laughs> Alrighty. That's a thick one there. That's a heavy, heavy fish. Thank you for playing, buddy. Alrighty. Well, I haven't caught one in a few minutes now, so I guess I'm gonna move on and go have my largemouth fun now, but geez, that was fun. Oh my gosh, look at that. That was a brand new crankbait this morning that I tied on for these stripers. And there is teeth marks just all over that thing. They tore this thing up. 
What a fun, fun time that was right there. Ooh, come on. Shoot. Dang it, that was a better blow up. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so I thought, small mouth. <laughs> My boat hit the rocks over here. I think that's a keeper though, pretty darn sure. Pretty sure that's a keeper. Yep, it's a keeper at least. Throw them on the small side. Small side will be passenger side. Well, that was fun. Like I said, today's all about fun, so that was fine by me. Oh, jeez, that one ate it good, but not even a keeper, I don't think. Close your mouth, buddy. Oh yeah, he's a keeper, but not a very good one. Okay, well, that's two little guys. Oh, I looked away right when that fish hit. I think that's a better one. Jeez, still not, not that good, but decent keeper at least. Better than a teeny tiny guy at least. Put him in this side. God, that was a heck of a bite though. That was awesome. There we go. It's a better one, I think. Huh. Still not really, just a nice hit and a nice fight, but still not really that good of a fish. Keeper, but not a good one and he's not not that long really make sure he's a keeper for sure before i put him in there close your mouth buddy yeah he's almost 15 inches but thick little sucker not the kind that the winner is catching the leader i should say he hasn't won yet got to put some fish in the boat today but he is poised to win for sure <laughs> Heck of a bite from that little smallmouth. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Golly, you hard fighting son of a gun, too. Come on, dude. Get up in here. Might be my fifth keeper right there. If it is, I got a small, small limit, even smaller than yesterday's. Yeah. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Well, I got really lucky there that that's all that happened, but I've got to be really, really careful. Oh, that hurt. Ripped part of my nail off. Wow. Okay. Ow. I don't have anything to put on it either is the bad part. Golly. Dang it, that hurt. Ow, ow, ow. I've got to be very, very careful with these fish. Yeah, he's barely a keeper too, golly. Stinking little guy, oh my gosh. I'm bleeding all over the place. I'm gonna have to stop this bleeding. Put him in the live well, and now, I gotta do something to stop this bleeding, dang it. Mm, 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 mm. That was close to a lot worse than that though that could have been really really bad i've got to be super super careful with these fish oh my gosh that hurts oh my gosh look down to address my trolling motor again fish smashed it another small mouth probably no it's a large mouth just an angry one 
Wow. All right. Pretty sure this fish calls by a little bit at least. All right. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'll weigh these two. Real you know what? I'm not even going to weigh them. Like I said, the tournament doesn't matter that much, so I'll just take one of them, I guess. This one looks like he's a little healthier, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, this one's a little bit wider. Eh. Don't really matter that much, like I said. Just gonna try to keep moving along, keep catching fish. Holy! Don't even think it's a good one, but probably a smallmouth, yep. Oh no, it's not a smallmouth. Just a pretty little largemouth that absolutely crushed the bait again. These fish are crazy the way they'll eat that thing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, not even a keeper. Crazy the way these fish will eat that thing. I just cannot believe I can't get a good bite during the tournament. Caught some decent ones during practice, but man, even when I think it's a good one, it's just a little guy. Oh my gosh. No, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Saw the fish flash when he came off. That was a little bit better fish. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm not really in it for the win right now, for the tournament anyway, unless I caught absolute giant bag and then the other guy would have to falter also. I was just about to come back here to turn off my aerator. That fish bashed it, that's crazy. That's happened so many times today where I've gone to look away or do something and that's when a fish hits it. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that right there. Holy cow. They are schooling like insane right there. Oh my gosh. It's probably stripers, but man, I'd like to catch some. Chasing the bait out this way though. Not close enough to me, dang it. Wow. They came up like crazy right there though. Oh. I have one miss it. Oh, 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 they're popping all around me now. Wow. I can't see the fish that are chasing though. I don't know if they're white bass or what. Wow. Oh, I don't know. That didn't seem like a little white bass. Well, it might be though. Wow. These fish just came up like crazy right here though. That was insane. Let's see what we got. Yeah, a little white bass, dang it. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> that was crazy to see though. Wow. They just came up schooling like crazy, crazy. Could be some bass in there too. Probably mostly white bass, but could be some blacks in there too. I don't know. I don't know, but that was a ton, ton of fish crashing bait right there. I hope you would have seen all that on camera. That was wild. They all of a sudden just came up busting everywhere. All right, well, that white bass thing is not as much fun as I would hope. They don't fight very hard, so it's cool seeing them blow up, but I'm gonna go try to get some largemouth now that actually fight a little bit. <laughs> that was a good blow up. Fighting a little harder. It might be a decent fish at least. Not sure though. Oh yeah, decent one. I'm gonna swing him. There we go. That's my best one of the day right there. It's not saying much, but it was a nice bite. I know that. 
Yeah, it might not even be the best one I've caught today, actually. Got a couple of them around that size. Alrighty. It's a thick one. It was fun. That was a heck of a bite. Thank you for playing. Pretty, pretty fish. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jeez. That's a better one there. Oh, wow. It's not even that good of a fish. Just a smallmouth that absolutely crushed it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my gosh. When I set back into that one, I thought that was a four or five pounder. That was crazy. I guess I'm going to check and see if he'll cull, but I don't think so. It's not a bad smallmouth, but... Eh. Might not even check and see if he calls. Let's see how long he is. Well, he's 15 inches long, but I don't think he weighs any more than these smaller ones over here. Let me see real quick. All right, well, my scale's a little weird. I don't know. I don't know how it's gotten like this. It's all jacked up. I don't even know how that fish was on there like that, but he is a little bit bigger, so. You know what? Put the call strap on him so I can find him easier later. There we go. Cool. Yeah. That was a nice bite there. Goodness gracious. Oop. Came off and hooked him back on the side. Don't think that's any better than what I got in there though. He's a little skinny. He's trying to fatten up, but I got him on that whopper plopper. Balance beam is usually a little easier, but whatever. One thirty-two on that one. One twenty-one on that one. So. Nope, that fish that I just caught did not help. Oh, oh no! Dang it! Ay, 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 that was an upgrade there for sure. That was a decent fish. I saw his whole back come out of the water and I stuck him for a second. Golly, that was actually a decent fish. That was probably my best fish of the day right there. Golly. Oh, that was a decent one. That would have culled out my smallest one that's actually having trouble living right now. So unless I cull him out, I'm gonna get, probably gonna get a dead fish penalty too. Wow, that was awesome. Oh. Dang it! Ah, immediately pulled me into this little tree right here and came off. Obviously it wasn't a real big one, but I think it was a keeper. I've got that one that died on me, so definitely could have used that one. Golly! Man, do not have much time either. It's 1.45. Got 15 minutes until last cast. Of course that one comes off. Golly! I stick that one right. A little peanutter. <laughs> so I can get that behind his mouth. Golly. So many of those little smallmouth this weekend. It's crazy. Here goes my dad and my uncle right there going back to the ramp. So they didn't fish till the very last minute, so I'm guessing they've probably got a decent bag. 
all righty that's gonna do it right there it's two o'clock didn't do worth a darn in a tournament but sure had a lot of fun this weekend especially those stripers this morning that was ridiculously fun you ready five babies and one dead yeah yeah, after he died, I couldn't catch a freaking keeper to save my life. Dude, we caught 16 inch fish all day long. Dude. Yeah, I know. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah, oh, back. is that a smallmouth? Yeah. Back two oh, that's a nice smallmouth. Small nah, no, not as nice as yours yesterday. Oh, can I get in? I didn't get to see your smallie yesterday. Everybody's in very. Shoo, look at that Medina limit. Medina limit. <laughs> <laughs> Golly! That's not bad for her. Thank you. Small mouth out. Let me get it. Yeah, yeah, get a small, get a small mouth. You got a 16. Yeah, it's not a big small mouth, but she's pretty. Oh my God. All right, gotcha. Great, you got a 1663 for the time. Woo! Woo! Couldn't beat you in one day. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw you. It looked like one of y'all were throwing top water, man. I just, I love hey, so everybody, thanks for coming out. We had uh, seven teams total with two singles fishing and, right and going out there. I don't know how you guys do the single thing. I don't ever want to do that. It's too hard. Uh, so, uh, so second place by the skin on the scale of a couple fish, honestly, because it was that close. With 24.97 pounds, because they fish clean with no penalties. Tim Westfall and Greg Westfall Sr. Hey! Nice! Right now we gotta listen to the live well. Let's go the live scope! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the live scope! And when we, I, we saw when them I say, all on the live scope, y'all. When I say close, I mean Adam and them's first day penalty cost them because they had 24.91. Uh, <laughs> They had 24.97. How'd you catch them? We got a hundred dollars top water. Top top water. Top and then one good one on a booty shaker. Rayers back where we saw y'all going yeah. back in there. All top water. All top water. Yeah. They and said right, they lost up like a right, right there where right there where y'all were. Oh yeah. Boom, he had to fight, he jumped three times. I can hear my boot rattle in there. Every time it jumped. Then I went around the corner of that and had one just crater on a wobble flopper. Just about a four pound. Well actually he jumped over it, but I never really and then, uh, of course, I think we all know by now we, we were all fishing for second today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty all much. All I got to do is go out there and let Kim catch five fish. Thank you, and she did. Woo! With uh, thirty-one point eight six pounds. Thirty-one point eight. Nice. Seven pound gap. <laughs> Hey, he caught some on Buzzbait, Jim. He was sandbagging. Add uh, <laughs> insult yeah. to injury, they also came in with big fish. You know this where I got it in front of, right? <laughs> get, get in front. Where's the money? Who's got the money? Get in front of him. <laughs> hey, somebody said, well, Kim's always happy. He goes, you're going to have to start paying for it because i got to feed her. Yeah, I told her that. Well, Congrats, y'all. How much is that for first? 330 for 330. first. 330. Uh, 150 was second, and then Big Bass is $60. <laughs>